Santa's bought for me. What was left under the tree for you last year? Well, the dog got under there and left a small deposit, which I wasn't expecting. <laughs> well, there must have been something there for you. Actually, there was something that I've always wanted. Sophistication? No, that wasn't on the list. I couldn't spell it for starters. No, I got a bag of rice. I think that was from my Uncle Ben. And a lottery ticket. Oh, did you win? Unfortunately not. Otherwise, I'd have been very were elfy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, We've got some gifts here to wrap up for members of HMTC. Um, let me just. Uh, this is the first one. A strictly annual Bubble Morris. Mm. <laughs> A brand new tool for Richard Davis. Uh, he must have worn his out by now. He's always using his tool for something. <laughs> Nice new bucket. For Tony Baker? So he can attempt to carry a tune. That's the one. <laughs> and in here we've got a Santa outfit. Who's that for? It's for William Jones. Does he want to look like Santa? No. He wants to look less like Santa. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. <sighs> HMTC meant to be doing a nativity this year. Yes, but they couldn't find three wise men and a virgin, so they couldn't cast it. Oh, that's a shame. I love a good nativity. You know, the last one I saw, Mary and Joseph knew how much the baby weighed when they had him. How did they know that? Well, they had a way in a manger. <laughs> oh. I hope it snows this year. I haven't made a snowman in ages. Me too. I love snowmen. That reminds me. What does a snowman have for lunch? Mm, I don't know. Icebergers. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, the last snowman I saw, he definitely hadn't been eating burgers. He had a six pack. Really? He was the abdominal snowman. <laughs> Fully pumped up. <laughs> <laughs> Got another one for you. Go on. What do you get if you cross a snowman with a vampire? Go on, tell me. Frostbite. <laughs> ah, that brings a whole new meaning to it being nippy outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I once saw a snowman looking through a pile of carrots. What was he doing? He was picking his nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, we must stop this. There's going to be no jokes left for the crackers. No really bad ones anyway. Here, mm. oh. yeah. what do you say we wrap this up and send Christmas wishes to all our HMTC friends and their fantastic supporters? Good idea. Let's wrap with a wrap. <laughs> Oh. 
Joke, so you're ready for this. You're okay. sitting comfortably. Yeah. Okay. Right. So three men died on Christmas Eve, oh. and as they were met at the pearly gates by Saint Peter. That's all. Now Saint Peter said, "Now, as it's in the season of Christmas, you have to possess something that symbolises Christmas in order to enter the gates of heaven." So the three men thought. The first man fumbled in his pockets, pulled out a lighter, flicked it on, and said. This represents a candle. So Peter said, oh yeah, good, you can go through. Okay, okay. that makes sense, yeah. The second man, he fumbled in his pocket, pulled out some keys, jingled them, ah. said, bells. Yeah. So St. Peter said, oh yeah, okay, you can go through. So the third man thought, oh no. So he was desperately searching all through his pockets. Eventually he pulled out a pair of women's tights. St. Peter said, well, how does that symbolize Christmas? The man said, well, these are carols. <laughs> as in the lady. Uh -huh. And then carols singing. Christmas carols, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, made oh. me chuckle that one. That was a good one. Come on, Laura.